everybody. This is Tracy Wells again from Farmers Insurance here in Grayson, Georgia, with another episode of Insurance 101. Today, I'm going to have a quick conversation with you in regards to homeowner insurance claims when it comes to wear and tear. Sometimes people will try to file claims on certain items in the house, whether it's in the kitchen or the bathroom. Sometimes you'll see things such as tile that might be worn or starting to curl up. If it's a certain type of flooring, uh, you'll see people that will have a, a shower pan that the lining underneath is starting to wear and it'll start to leak into a room below or into the crawl space. And sometimes the grout might also start to go. I've had contractors call and tell me that, oh, it's covered. But the first thing that you want to do really is to call your agent and get pictures and estimates. Most of the time, wear and tear items are not going to be covered by a standard homeowner's policy. Now, if it's something that is from an accidental discharge of water or might be a fire, something that is a covered peril, then yes, it would be covered in most cases. But wear and tear, you have to be very careful. The one thing that people forget or some people are unaware of is the clue report. And when you file a claim, that's going to follow you. And if you rack up numerous claims, it's going to be very difficult for you to get coverage if you move on from your current agent or you sell your house and you try to purchase another house. Those claims are going to follow you. So just take extra precaution when it comes to that and call your agent first before you pursue calling the claims department. And if you like the content of this video and others that I have produced, please like, share, and subscribe. And after you subscribe, hit the bell below and that way you will be notified when we drop new videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.